Then skip. Okay. They were half siblings, a very athletic family. Anyway, drink, drink, and forget. <laughs> Another one down the hatch. Cheers, dude. Lex snickered into the glass as they looked at each other. Long drink. Another long drink. They were looking a little rosy-cheeked, but stuck out their tongue as they ordered another glass for us both. Okay, you asked a weird sex question, so I want to know your most public sex story. Fair is fair. Let's see. <clears throat> what? I didn't... There was no question... There was no... What, what was that all about? Ask a hard question. Fun memory. Guess I've got two answers, so you better be ready to drink up for Lex's story tolling. And I stand by it even more then. Okay, well, most my f well my most favorite memory is from when I was little. My family, that's me and my mom and dad, and my two youngest sisters. We drove down the coast on like a whole week road trip, stopping along the way, and a bunch of cool historical shit. Like the Capitol and a bunch of national monuments. We had a big checkbook at that my mom made of stuff to see. Anyway, we finally ended up driving all the way down to the space center. It was the first time I'd really even thought about how huge the galaxy was. I made my dad take me through their solar system tour like four times just to get a look up at the huge ceiling where uh, they projected the galaxies and stuff to show off the universe kinda stupid I guess but it was it was kinda eye-opening when I was little we went to Fisney land and next day for my sisters mostly and I just remember being more excited about looking up at the night sky from the hotel than like meeting Mike the Mouse and all that stuff. That's kind of deep, Lex. I'm a little surprised. What? The punk who swears a ton can't be deep. Nah. I fucking love that shit, you know? Knowing that there's a one trillionth of a chance that the people, that the planet wasn't just sucked into the sun or flew apart into some asteroids or something, let alone the chance of us being here. <clears throat> That's pretty cool to think about. Yeah, well said. Oh, so you said you had another answer. Yeah, well, I guess that's my favorite memory, watching those movies at the space station. My most fun memory, that may be a toy. Oh? Yeah, well, okay, it makes me sound like a dumbass, but I didn't even have a ton of friends when I was younger. Between the whole appearance thing and just being sort of one of those kids who shut themselves in during the summer. After college, I started getting in good with my local friends. A couple of them were on my course and dragged my ass here after class and got me out of my shell and all that shit. Anyway, a couple of years ago uh, was the first time all of us got together and went on a trip together. It wasn't anything special or anything, but ten of us in a couple of leaky tents trying to light a campfire for eight hours. <clears throat> Getting a little off. Yeah, it's hard to keep the accent up. But we hung out all together for a whole week, weekend, getting wasted and just chilling out together. Swapping war stories and laughs and all that stuff. It was pretty eye-opening. Some of them I knew pretty well, but I hadn't heard them talk about themselves or gotten to hang out with them without, like, them having their god up or something. So just uh, made me feel at home, you know? Hanging out with a bunch of people you know so well that you get sucked into their stories and shit. Some of them were great friends now, even more than before the trip. We and we still try to go camping a few times during the summer. It's kind of stupid, sappy shit. But when I'm hanging out with people who like totally get me, I mean, like, can finish the sentences for you, it feels like being around family. 
It's really sweet of you, Lex. Cheers. Psh, I guess, dude. That glass was definitely a tipping point. I could feel the tingling warm flushing my cheeks a little as we shared our stories. I was well and truly buzzed now. Good thing I got a cap. Lex took another big drink, slamming the gas down triumphant. They snickered, tail wagging mysteriously. Told you this was a fun game. Okay, so you're secretly sappy. Don't worry, I won't ruin your reputation. So your turn for a question. Ha, yeah, dude. I don't think there's a ton of people who believe you. Okay, my question. What's the worst you've ever ended up getting hurt? Let's see. Can we finish the game? Why are you so awesome? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we hung out the other day, but I feel pretty at home chatting with you, Lex. You're pretty easy to get on with. I usually find it hard to just sit and chat with people sometimes. I don't know, Festa. Pretty cool yourself, though, for the record. Lex shrugged a smile, tipping their drink my way in a friendly salute. I wouldn't think too hard on it, dude. I know I was in a shitty mood stuck outside that club when we first started talking, but I usually get on okay with people when I get around to actually talking with them. Ha! Though, I know my swearing like a sailor and piercing and shit kind of put some people off, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I make friends easy enough. I guess being into video games and a lot of music and shit is kind of easy to get along with, though. I can see what you mean about it being kind of easy to chat with you and all, but maybe you're just a little drunk, dude. Ha. <laughs> I know I can be kind of abrasive and stuff too. I ain't blind to that. Even if you didn't run away when I was giving you shit about Emerus. I guess so, but at the same time, it didn't seem like you were judging me as a person as much as you didn't like the club scene, and I can see why a club that forward would put you off. You didn't even see the pool upstairs or the dancing pools. Ugh, jeez. Okay, we're both taking a drink for that mental image. Ha! I figured you'd probably be done by now, dude. No chance, dude. Ha ha. Lex was looking a little wobbly now there. I said lost a little of their playful sharpness and when the husky took a drink, they dipped a little into the bar. They laughed all the same, though it was obvious that they were pretty buzzed. Phew, good question. Okay, return question. Are you into me? Well, if we're being honest here, I, like I said, you're awesome, Lex. I'm attracted to you. Honestly, no, I'm enjoying chatting, but that's all. Can I just drink and avoid the question? Oh... I think you're on the right track. It's been fucking awesome getting to know you more, Fest of the Dragon, when we're both ready for that kind of thing. Which, for the record, I'm not. Drunk or no, there's a reason I'm not trawling Omaris for a quick bounce. I hope you don't keep going back to the club thing, Lex. I'd like to move past it now we're actually hanging out and stuff. Shit, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not holding it against you or anything. I guess I was just kind of paranoid meeting up with someone from there. I'm not trying to insult you or anything, just a risk, I guess. Even if I'm really fucking glad I took it. Thanks, Lex. Finish the game. I think I'm done with the game, Lex. Yeah, okay. Game over, it is. Ha, huh. you got me pretty good there, Festa. I kind of figured you'd be a lightweight. Lex, last thing you enjoy, down, flickering. The hair out of there is gave me a curious look above a warm smile that couldn't help but find a little sweet in its own way. Well, let's get a couple hours of swapping this shit. Maybe we should call it a night. Ha, <laughs> not for nothing. That'll make me blush, I hope. How about playing a game? Okay, sounds awesome. Chilling out with something like that actually sounds like a pretty good plan. Oh, here, let me split a taxi fare with you. I got him back to the house! Oh! We got him back to our place. We'll see what's gonna happen there.
Can't ride back home, didn't take long. Fresh air, blah blah. Cracked feeling air coming in the waterfront in the parents' house. Like sees a little about living in the fancier part of town, but our house wasn't exactly a good community or anything. They didn't seem to mind parent part. And said they were pretty good around people's parents, though. Thankfully, they were away for the week. And they were usually, usually bad at night. The bedroom gymnastics that cat Cobby got up to, but maybe they would care about two of us stumbling around drunk and heckling in the entire system of the night. Nice well, place you got here, yeah, Festa. Thanks, like I said, it's the family home, really, but we should have at it ourselves. Why don't you get settled in the living room there? I'll check out what we can throw on. We got a pretty big selection. I'll grab something from the kitchen, another beer for you. You betcha. Yeah, let's keep drinking. Turned with a six pack to find Lex doubled over, judging the content of our entertainment system. A snicker tail wagging against the trendy form fitting jeans, which I had to admit was a pleasant sight, despite the platonic plans for the evening. Let's get held up brightly colored box of dance disco and tapped the front cover, very properly dressed raver. Your game or your brothers? Ah, uh, that's mine. <laughs> okay, you talkiness at its cutest. Tempted to suggest it, but I'd end up on my butt even without any of these new BS. Might be fun still. Only if you want to play Rushing Lex Broken Ass to the EA game. <laughs> that uncoordinated, huh? Fair enough. I'll pretend that isn't a dorky image in return. You get me in an arcade on a shit at, and I'll regret that comment, and you'll regret that comment, buddy. I guess so. So, did you find anything you want to throw on? Oh, how about this? Straight robbed sage. That's a martial arts side scroller, right? I figured a two player might be better than competing in a head to head game after all those drinks. Yeah, good idea. Story on this is pretty cool, too. Maybe we sell. Well, what do we do versus mode on this, though? Thrill zone, sure. We end up wiping out on street robbed. The sci fi. Fame on the guns are way cooler than the generic stuff on Core of Duty. Kinda like a more first person shooter version of Meta Gears. You're on! We settle down with the open beers and modern wireless controllers to play retro arcade game. Drinking along with the game was practically impossible considering the button mesh. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked up. We actually got pretty far in the game, with no small part of that being thanks to Lex's admitted expertise in old school games felt a little bit like my reaction times were suffering from the drinking it was definitely burning through our lives quicker still I had fun pretty soon drinks through we must have gotten at least halfway through the levels when our last lives were wiped out by the archetypal helicopter boss in the wake of our pixelated bodies Flickering out of existence in a hail of rocket fire, neither of us were too mad. Free okay, consolidation beer down the hatch. Rest in peace, Muscle Joe and Tony Flex. Ha, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was pretty cool, Festa. Which one is you now? Uh, I want to throw on YouTube, watch something. I'm getting pretty tired, actually. Bedroom. I guess it's getting pretty late. Or, uh, uh, maybe early is the better word. Where do you want me to crash out? Did you want to crash down here? If not, there's my bedroom. Got a spare bed in there, of course. I'm good for whatever, dude. How about the bedroom, then? We head up to the bedroom. A little wobbly on the stairs. A late night of drinks and excitement. Getting into the bedroom. I gay likes a brief tour of the small kingdom. I shared with Cobby. Uh, I guess I can tell which side of the room is your brother's. I guess he's not shy about the team he bats for, huh? Yeah, out and proud. So, two double beds spoiling me for choice. I assume your brother's side is out of bounds. Do you mind sharing? I'll take Cosby bed if you have mine. You take Cosby bed, it's more comfortable. You don't mind, Lex? I can crash out on your brother's velvet night, man, if you prefer. I mean, no funny business, but I ain't gonna kick you out of your own bed. Don't worry. Wouldn't be anything like that. Yeah, sure, nothing to worry about. 
I can sleep above the covers. You take my bed, Cosby's over there. You take Cosby, it's more comfortable. Looks not in, I slipped under the covers on one side of the bed, watching me do the same from the other side until we were laying side by side. I tried not to let the impromptu idea make me feel a little nervous. If I was honest with myself, I didn't want to fuck things up with Lex. The night had been really cool getting to know them. Selling beside them, we were relatively cozy on the double bed, and I could feel the warmth of their body as they shuffled out of their jacket. I chuckled, jumping like a little kid as their bare paw accidentally bumped my foot. Jeez, it wasn't like Lex even had their pants off. I was overthinking this. Not used to sharing your bed with someone, dude. Is it lame to say not for a while? And especially not this bed, sharing my room with my brother and all. Well, you said that doesn't stop me, right? A little jealous? <clears throat> a little. Lex rolled onto their side to face me. Well, I can't speak for their brother as a person, but I had a fucking blast today. Don't let him get to you. Thanks, Lex. Husky placed their arm across my middle and nestled against my shoulder. The cuddle of a hug wasn't quite platonic, but it was far from lewd. No problem, dude. Lex's slow breaths against my shoulder tickled my neck a little. Not enough to be uncomfortable, though, as I settled and then closed my eyes against the morning light. Lex, sleeping. After some unknown time in a deep dream of sleep, I was stirred back to consciousness by the weight of Lex slipping back into the bed from the restroom before I had a chance to roll over a pair of arms wrapped around my middle, hugging me close with unexpected tenderness. I sighed softly, leaning back against their body with a contented rumble as the hugging arms gently petted over my tummy in a way that was likely to send me right back to sleep. The excitement of Lex holding me close didn't have me wanting anything but sleep. Lex, so that's what their name is. What? What? Ha! Yeah, yeah, see, what? Who the fuck are you? Ah, uh, you asshole. Yeah, it's fucking him. What a douche. What are you doing in my bed? You passed out with a big dumb smile on your face. I figured you'd appreciate being hugged awake, or was it Lex you wanted to be in there? Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, with my brother's arms around my hips. So where's Lex? You didn't do anything to them, did you? Shit. You didn't speak to them at all, right? <laughs> the androgynous canine cutie that was passed out in here, he or she, they went to get a shower in the other bathroom, scurried out of here real quick, too. Probably took one look at Kabi and made a run for it. So someone had fun, night. Yeah, we were at Waiters, a bar outside the city, hang out, nothing happened. That's the microphone right. I guess I should have figured from the massive boots they were by the front door and all the piercings. So, a butch and drawn in his punk, huh? <laughs> what of it? And you're one to judge. What was the line? He's not my teacher, he's a friend's teacher. So, I gotta go. I gotta know. Is your gaydar broken today, or does it just not work when you're being a creeper and watching people sleep? I asked, they aren't really ready to talk about it. I'd be guessing they've not really dropped any major hints at all, but honestly, I don't care. I'll find out when I find out. I'm pretty sure Lex is a male. At least I hope so. Eh, I don't really care. Aw, you're cute when you're in denial about being out on a date. I'm going to start with that around Lex. They want to be friends first. Well, that's a good sign. Exactly. I'm going to go I'm gonna go see if they've 